This is the cartilage flap of the osteochondral lesion. You can see that we have a mechanical shaver and we use other instruments to manipulate the tissues and remove the cartilage flap. Right now we're removing some of the soft tissue and then removing the piece of loose cartilage. This is an arthroscopic grasper. You can see the instruments are small and they allow us to manage the tissues appropriately. We have small instruments that allow us to remove any loose cartilage and appropriately debride the lesion. Now we can bring in a small awl that allows us to punch holes in the subchondral bone. These little holes allow for blood flow and stem cells to come up from the cancellous bone. These little channels can allow scar cartilage and healing cells to come from deeper within the bone and create a confluent fibrocartilage surface or scar cartilage surface. We call this a microfracture. Part of this process also is to determine uh, if the subchondral bone is stable or unstable. Clearly if it's unstable we remove it. We basically keep excavating until we reach a stable surface and we've removed the entirety of the lesion. Now we're looking at what's left of the lesion from a different perspective. You can see it's a deep defect. We're starting to get down to healthy bone now. You can also see the importance of having multiple portals in the ankle, being able to work from the front and the back and from the inside and the outside of the ankle. Once we've completely excavated the lesion, we try and drill it a little bit more to bring in some more vascularity. And we use a drilling guide, that little probe helps us to have an idea of where this drill will come in. And we actually sometimes drill through the ankle bone or the heel bone or whatever bones uh, will allow us to get into the lesion. So this is called a mini vector a drill. And uh, you can see we're going to use it to drill deep into the bone. Again, the goal of providing vascular channels for the stem cells to come out and allow for some healing and to fill in this defect. We do the drilling from different uh, angles and vantage points, again trying to maximize the opportunity for healing. So here's an example of uh, drilling from a different spot in the ankle down into the osteochondral lesion. In this particular case we decided to add some platelet rich plasma. So you can see we've evacuated the joint of uh, fluid. We're now doing a dry scope and we just injected the PRP uh, into the joint and into the lesion. This is done uh, with the hope that it will facilitate healing.